He's defensively just dominant throughout the course of that game. We mentioned off the top, Clark only having to make 11 saves last night. Nice feed to Will Diorsi. The senior gets it who gets over left wing. Lowers his shoulder but couldn't get through Michael Young. Eventually finds it, and there's O'Connor. His centering feed is picked off, and Michael Young will reset. But the double team on the forecheck makes it tough to do. Taken away by Graber. Feeds the... It's O'Connor, Foreman, Baker, Palasic, and Graber. The five skaters out for the power play. It's their top unit. This one is tipped into the goal. Quinn Foreman, halfway home, is able to tip it through just 13 seconds into the power play. That's what you want. It really goes back. It was a great keep in by Tanner Palasic over at the left point, hustling over to keep it. Got it to Graber, and a nice job by Graber at the line as well. You'll see Palasic gathering here. The work by Graber to make sure he keeps that puck down. It was already bounding, throws it across. We'll pick it up. Brendan Less ready to come out of the box in just half a minute off his hooking penalty as Pearson whistles one home. Clark got a piece of it, but not the whole pie. It's a tie game with a power play goal from Yale. Pearson scoring there. It's going to be his 11th of the season, his seventh that has come on the power play for the New Hampshire native. Just a good hold and a rip of a shot. He had two goals last night against Harvard and continues his goal scoring ways here this evening. Now 12 shots for Yale in the first period plus. Pass is picked off by Christian Lesur. The sophomore's off to the races, but he's denied by Kaspersky as he goes crashing into the net. Lesur was hoping for his first goal there with Pearson. Saucered out by Hall to St. Ivany. Welsh has it now. Welsh filtered it through and a one-timer denied by Clark. Well, Clark got just a piece of that. It also looked like it was healed a little bit on the shot there by Hall. Four play tally here in the second. Turnover right in front of Clark and he gloves it. Oh my goodness. How did he snag that? Curtis Hall, one of the best goal scorers in the country, denied by Clark. You are not going to see a better save anywhere in the nation than this one. Hall right in front and off the line right in front. Clark is able to snap. Rutherford to the middle. O'Connor, an open net, and he buries it. Drew O'Connor with just enough gas left in the tank. Scores a power play goal to get Dartmouth back in front. A fantastic pass across the ice to O'Connor, who's able to settle it down and rip it past St. Ivany. Just look right on the tape. Look how low he is to the line right there, and he's still able to get enough of an angle and finish it for the goal. But still some good teams to pass in front of them as Evan Smith races ahead, passes it to his brother, tipped over toward Michael Young, and he sneaks one through. He ties the game with just 2-12 left in the period, and as we head toward the third, this is anybody's game. Michael Young comes from a hockey family. He's the youngest of five and all have played the college game in his first ever collegiate goal coming here tonight to tie it up at two. Just a bounding puck. He's able to gather in kind of a waffling, knuckling puck that sneaks in underneath Adrian Clark. So he's holding up on both sides. Big green two for four on the power play. They've allowed one power play goal. Here comes Don Hauser, two on one with long. Don Hauser shot, he scores! Yale takes its first lead of the night, 3-2 here in the third period. Puck management was a bit of an issue for Dartmouth in the second period, and here it is again, just an errant pass that's broken up. Don Hauser in on the two-on-one, and he's able to slip this one past Clark and into the back of the net for Don Hauser, the first scored the eventual game winner for Dartmouth to take it 4-3. Curtis Hall centering pass, and they score. Oh, what a finish that was. Reaching out to double the lead, Justin Pearson, his second of the night. What work down low off the faceoff win. Hall's been a hard luck, I guess you could say, near score a couple of times here tonight, but the feet across to Pearson right in front of the blue paint. And Taken away by Lacerdo, evades the ref, and Matthews, kick save made. Rebound, Hessler, did that one sneak through? It did not, the neck came loose, the fans behind the cage thought they had one. But it stays 4-2 for Yale. Well, they're not going to review this goal, but we're going to look at it again anyway. This one fed in, and they're saying that Strong knocked the net off on his own volition. He tried to push it back on its peg, but you can tell they're saying that Strong did it on his own because the faceoff is coming outside the attacking zone for the big green. And again, we got the emphatic washout symbol right there, but that was a prime opportunity for Dart. Foreman toward the middle, but that one's blocked by Kemp. Camp with a poke check. They'll find Graber. 
Rich shot, score! Will Graber, his second of the game, found a way through, and Dartmouth is back within one. And there is life for the big green yet. It's going to be Graber's second of the game. Just the seeing eye shot, the patience waits for the player to go down to try for the block and just rips a wrister. That's past Kaspersky before he realizes it. And Dartmouth within a tally here with 54.1 to go. 17 seconds left. Foreman lost the handle, poked by Pearson. Foreman gets it back. Running out of time. Palasic, good job to keep it in. Lifting it up high. O'Connor gets in there. Baker reaching for it. Four seconds left. Thrown across the zone, but nobody's home. A terrific game with a great finish. It deserved to be a one-goal final the way these two teams battled it out tonight. But Yale, in the end, outlasting Dartmouth, and they are now tied in the ECAC standings.